give that applause all over your next comic, Jeremy Odom. Well, hello, everybody. Hello. I love performing in the city that I went to high school with. I tend to have old classmates uh, in the audience, and they, they give a good look, and they're like, is that Scrotum Odom? <laughs> it's Jeremy. And then you get the folks that you've met since then, they're a little more mature, and they, they give a double take, and is that Jeremy? <laughs> it's Jeremy, guys. It's Jeremy. It's all good. But yeah, I grew up in Omaha. I had my first job here at age 14 at the grocery store. You know, your classic starter job that only lasted about 24 years. <laughs> One of my favorite gigs at the store that I was working in the dairy department. Easy gig, fill the milk, fill the eggs, help customers, but it left a lot of time for shenanigans. One of my favorite bits in the dairy was being the egg man. I'd wear these baggy cargo pants, you know, the ones with the big side pockets. I'd keep an egg in it while I worked. I'd walk around the store, and when my coworkers would come see me, they'd go, hey, egg man. I'd pull out the egg and toss it around like a party trick. <laughs> I did do this. <laughs> I ran the egg game for a few months um, until they stopped calling me Eggman, and then it got really weird with the egg in my pocket. But I think I was just a little ahead of my time because with egg prices rising the way they are right now, if I wore these cargo pants and I loaded them up with eggs, I could run a corner outside right now and make all kinds of money. <laughs> If I get a guy inside, know some people in the grocery business, I can get those cards of eggs. The 11 good ones, the one bad one, you know, that no one wants. Yeah, you gotta sell every egg in this apartment. I get some, get some chickens at home, raise them, all natural, straight from the source. Oh, I, I'd make a racket. You know, Dollar Tree stopped selling eggs because egg prices were so high. They stopped altogether, so they are begging for the streets to take back the eggs. Um, it might be time for the egg man to make a return. You know, grocery stores are fun. They, they are predictable, but they are fun. You see all kinds of different people uh, in the store, but you will always see the same type of characters. You have the old guy with the list, okay? He got kicked out of the house with a list of goods he needs to achieve. He goes to the store. He knows where the store is. <laughs> After that, it's a list and a prayer. They'll find the first person in the store and ask them where it's at. Hold on. He doesn't ask anything. He, he demands that we show him where everything is on the list. If you find him on a good day, though, he'll stop you mid-aisle and talk to you for a good 20 minutes about politics. So that's fantastic. <laughs> a little cheat code for the grocery clerk. You'll also get the old lady that will not let a good box go to waste. Okay? She sees you across the store. She sees you stocking. She goes over and she wants that box. She has one goal in mind. She asked for the box, no big deal, give me the box. I always ask, you know, what are you doing with this box? Are you moving? Nope, just looking to get organized. When you hand that box over, there's only one thing comparable to the look of pure bliss on her face, and it's when you give an empty box to a cat. Like, that's the, <laughs> that's the only comparable thing. <laughs> then you get the resume customer, right? This is somebody who's got um, a little bit about them, and something has gone wrong at the store, and they want the manager. <laughs> you go up to customer service, ask for the manager, okay, I'm strolling up, you know, hey, I'm the manager, how can I help you? I've been shopping in your store for 15 years, <laughs> and I spend tens of thousands of dollars in here every year, and I always think, every time, I'm like, if every person who tells me that actually did this, I promise you the egg prices aren't as high as they are, because we'll have some pennies to spare, right? But I always think, like, my 24 years of stacking cans and bagging groceries has got to mean something, but they think spending money means that they're always right. I've spent a lot of money on colonoscopies. Okay? I cannot imagine walking up to the operating room, knocking on that door, asking for the doctor. Ma'am, I have spent $60,000 on this hospital on colonoscopies. Move over, I've got ideas. This one's on me. But if I did actually do that, I would be able to finally say I've done butt stuff. But... 
That's my time. Thank you. Enjoy.